Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand basic troubleshooting of switching. As you can see here in this scenario, I have three switch, switch number one, switch two and switch three. All switch are directly connected with each other and switch two is connected with one PC, PC one and switch three is connected with one another PC that is PC two. IP address of PC one is 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and IP address of PC two is 10.1.1.2 slash 24. That means both PC belongs to same network. Then problem is here you can see issue is PC one is not able to communicate with PC two. That means PC one cannot communicate with PC two. So we are going to troubleshoot why PC one is not going to ping to PC number two. I you know problem is definitely between switches because there is no any router right all switches are directly connected so first of all maybe problem can be with IP configuration of PC as well so let me check the IP configuration of PC first and then I am going to check really ping is not working if ping is not working then see how I will troubleshoot the switching switches so I have access of PC one here so IP interface brief as glued and assign IP address of this PC is 10.1.1.1 absolutely fine ip address of pc2 is so ip interface brief exclude and assign okay ip address of pc2 is also fine 10.1.1.2 now let me verify the connectivity ping 10.1.1.2 so yes it's not working right ping is not working so guys first of all see the spanning tree protocol in this topologies these are the mac address of switches this one is the mac address of switch one this is mac address of switch two this is mac address of switch three so as you can see switch one have the lower mac address so switch one will become what root bridge if by default priority is same right root bridge so this port will become dp this port will become dp this port will become rp this port will become rp and this port will become alternate and this port will become dp that means pc1 and pc2 is going to use this path right pc1 and pc2 is going to use this path to communicate with each other so there is some problem on this path let me verify let me check the switch one configuration first so let me take access of switch one okay and here i am going to run command so a spanning tree protocol first so this port both port is dp and here you can see this is root bridge switch this switch is root bridge so fine if you want to check the status of these two link you can check you can run command so interface status as well so interface status 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 is connected A duplex is full everything is fine here on switch number 1 right now I need to verify the configuration of switch 2 and switch 3 so here is my switch 2 and so a spanning tree protocol this port is your DP port E 0 slash 2 but here I am not able to see E 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 port so maybe that port will be in error disable mode or something else can be you know some uh, other problem can be there so let me run command so interface status by running command show interface status we can check the status of these two interface actually these two interfaces are not showing in a spanning tree protocol so that's why I am going to run command show interface status to check the status of these two interface why these two interface is not showing in a spanning tree protocol because this port should be RP and this port should be DP in the spanning tree protocol okay so interface status oh here you can see e 0 slash 0 status is error disable vlan 1 okay 
everything is else but this port is in error disable guys and e0 slash 1 is also in error disable now we need to find the why this port is in error disable yes or no and this is the reason why these two ports are not showing in so spanning tree protocol so spanning tree protocol you can see only it is 0 2 is showing over here that is your LAN interface okay now so interface status these two ports are in error disable now before troubleshooting how to troubleshoot error disable once you need to shut down the port after that you need to run no shut command on the port but before that I think we should find the problem that why these port are in error disable okay first of all let me try by running command shutdown and no shutdown that's lots of people are doing lots of engineer are doing to recover the port from error disable mode interface range e0 slash 0 to 1 say shutdown and say no shutdown still you can see these two ports are in error disable yes or no so this method is not working right then we need to find the reason why these port are in error disable and there is one more way to recover error disable port that is in global config mode you will run command error disable after that recovery error disable recovery and uh, then if you know the cause then only you can recover if you know the cause then only you can recover it cause and here if you will say the cause you know these are the reason of error disable because of these reason a port can enter in error disable mode ARP infection, BPDU guard, channel misconfiguration, DSCP rate limit right DTP flap so these any reason can be there uh, you know can be there because of that a port is in error disable mode so actually if you know the reason then you can recover by running this command but as you don't know the reason why your port is in error disable you cannot recover by running this command so detect can I use this command detect and here also you have to say cause okay so see I am going to find that why my port is in error disable for that you can run command so interface status and error disable this command will show you the reason the cause of error disable okay so you can see e0 slash 0 state is error disable and reason is bpdu guard reason is bpdu guard so as you know bpdu guard should be enabled on access port right and e0 slash 0 is not access port right so engineer have configured bpdu guard on these two ports but you have to now recover it now what we can do we can say error disable recover cause bpdu bpdu guard after that hit enter done do so interface status still your port is in error disable right because you have to disable the bpdu guard on these two port guys so what i can do interface range e0 slash 0 to 1 and say a spanning tree bpdu guard or you want to check do so run section interface e0 slash 0 actually I, I want to show you engineer have run which command directly I will remove that command from the interface but so interface is not showing here can I say a spanning tree yes this command a spanning tree bpdu guard enable I am going to say no over here so I have fixed the problem first now so interface status still my port is in error disable 
so what we are going to do now now we can shut down the port and again we can run no set command or we can recover by using this command at the disable recover cause bpdu guard and so interface status okay so this command will take some time what we can do interface range e 0 slash 0 to 1 say shutdown and say no shutdown now you can see so your port is in your port is showing connected now done and now let me verify that PCs are able to ping or not now again it will take 30 second as you know STP need 30 second to reconvert the topology after 30 second it should work so say repeat 100 packet now you can see it's working right now ping is working issue is solved you know this was the small troubleshooting in next video we will discuss advanced troubleshooting as well but make sure whenever you are troubleshooting the switching part right you will start from beginning you will run very small small command first like so interface status because your port can be in error dis disable as you see there are lots of options there is lots of way because of that your port can enter in error disable mode okay guys so if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye